There is a story about a princess who had a small eye problem that she felt was really bad. Being the king's daughter, she was rather spoiled and kept crying all the time. When the doctors wanted to apply medicine, she would invariably refuse any medical treatment and kept touching the sore spot on her eye. In this way, it became worse and worse until finally the king proclaimed a large reward for whoever could cure his daughter. After some time, a man arrived who claimed to be a famous physician, but actually was not even a doctor. He declared that he could definitely cure the princess and was admitted to her chamber. After he had examined her, he exclaimed, Oh, I'm so sorry. What is it? The princess inquired. The doctor said, There is nothing much wrong with your eye, but there is something else that is really serious. The princess was alarmed and asked, What on earth is so serious? He hesitated and said, It is really bad. I shouldn't tell you about it. No matter how much she insisted, he refused to tell her, saying that he could not speak without the king's permission. When the king arrived, the doctor was still reluctant to reveal his findings. Finally, the king commanded, Tell us what is wrong. Whatever it is, you have to tell us. At last, the doctor said, well, the eye will get better within a few days. That is no problem. The big problem is that the princess will grow a tail, which will become at least nine fathoms long. It may start growing very soon. If she can detect the first moment it appears, I might be able to prevent it from growing. At this news, everyone was deeply concerned. And the princess, what did she do? She stayed in bed day and night, directing all her attention to detecting when the tail might appear. Thus, after a few days, her eye got well. This shows how we usually react. We focus on our little problem, and it becomes the center around which everything else revolves. So far, we have done this repeatedly. Life after life, we think, my wishes, my interests, my likes and dislikes come first. As long as we function on this basis, we will remain unchanged. Driven by impulses of desire and rejection, we will travel the roads of samsara without finding a way out. As long as attachment and aversion are our sources of living and drive us onward, we cannot rest.